The Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr Speaker, given the exigencies of time, my call will be a brief one, and I do not need to feign my delight this afternoon as the author and the originator of this bill to see it finally pass into law. It is a world first. It is the creation of the regulated market that the member who angrily preceded me referred to, and it will put in place an environment within which these pernicious substances that are doing so much damage to our young people can be removed from the shelves immediately. There are issues for the future relating to the breadth of its scope in terms of other issues and also the issues that the member raised relating to excise tax and the general treatment of these products moving forward that I think do merit consideration. That is for another day. What is important now is that this legislation is passed and is implemented so that the temporary bans on various substances that I implemented over the last couple of years do not expire and start to see these products come back onto the shelf. Mr Speaker, can I acknowledge the work of the current Minister? Can I acknowledge the support of the House? This is a good day for New Zealand communities. That's something the previous Speaker and I do agree on, and many people will be saying this is long overdue legislation. Let's get it in place, let's make our communities safe for our kids, and let's move forward, and I'm with them on that. Claire Curran. Mr Speaker, thousands of New Zealanders are watching tonight wanting this bill to pass.